Mr. Powell. A strange woman is a narrow pit. Amen, amen. She lieth and wait as for prey and increaseth the transgressors among men. Oh, my dear, dear friends, whatever would I do without you? Mr. Powell. Well, if there's anything, anything we can... No, it's my shame. It's my crown of thorns. I must wear it bravely. What could have possessed that girl? Satan. No. Didn't you have no inkling? Yes, I did, from the very first night. First night? Our honeymoon. How's that? She turned me out of the bed. No. Well, what do you figure to do? Do? Why, just stay right here and take care of them kids? Maybe it was never meant for a woman like Willa to taint their young lives. Mm -hmm. It's mighty brave of you, preacher. Oh, I reckon it was just ordained that way, Brother Spoon. Didn't, didn't she leave no word? A scrawl on a note paper on the bureau. I burned it. Tore it up and burned it. It stank so strong of hell fire. Amen. The pitcher has went to the well once too often, friends. Oh, she'll come dragging her tail back home. She'll not be back. I reckon I'm safe in promising you that. Maybe she just run off on a spree. No, no. There's no harm in hoping. No sense in it, neither. I figured something like that was brewing when she went to bed last night. How? Well, she tarried around in the kitchen after I'd gone up. And when I went downstairs to see what was wrong... What? I, when she found this jar of dandelion wine that the husband at Harper had hid somewhere in the cellar. She was drinking. Oh. I tried to save her. I know you did, Mr. Powell. Oh, I know how hard you tried. But the devil wins sometimes. Can't nobody say I didn't do my best to save her. 